I have this whole series of spinners from Stedemon knives. Um, there are about uh, eight of them, and this is the one I've got in my hands right now is number seven or Z07. Um, it appears to be made of two halves that can be screwed screwed together and taken apart. I did take the button off and it has what, what looks like a big hybrid 608 bearing in it. Um, I'm not going to try to disassemble the whole thing because I'm not sure if it was meant to be done that way. But my initial impressions of these, pretty much all of these ones from Sedamon Knives, is that I haven't been terribly impressed with them. They don't seem to spin very long in my hands and I they just they don't really have the greatest feel in the world from what I can tell so far but I, honestly I haven't played with them that much so I can't tell for sure this Z07 is one I'm gonna go ahead and try to test out and see if it gets any kind of a decent spin time I'm not really expecting it to unfortunately but I've seen on the internet some people really liking this particular brand of spinner so I thought I would test it out and see if it if it works out all right just decided to do the little buy spinner first um, they do have some other kind of interesting designs I might go over in the future but the only time only testing I've ever done on a Stedemon knives spinner was I, I did test the Z01 and I believe it was a the a titanium version a long time ago and wasn't very impressed with it but I'm not gonna go back and dig up what I actually scored it and I do have the Z01 now in copper, so I can test that one if I want. But for now, I'm just going to test the Z07 and see what we get from this little, this little guy. It's kind of attractive, though. So we'll test it out. Okay, the Stedemon Knives Z07 turned out to be pretty much as I expected. It's a, not a long spinner at all. It only got an average spin duration of 2 minutes and 48 seconds. Um, it was very consistent, however, either, even vertically or horizontally. It got about the same spin time. It didn't vary very much at all. In fact, the mean variability was only 4.6 seconds. So it's it's not goofy. It's, 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 uh, it's pretty solid. And it seems to be built pretty well too. I don't see any problems with the manufacturer or anything and it seems to be well balanced so I did give it a pretty high score for, for perceived quality of 8. Um, An appearance score I gave it a 9 because it, I think it does look pretty cool. It looks like a little Star Wars spaceship or something. Um, so it's, it's pretty cool looking and the feels not bad. It feels like you know, most other buy spinners you know it's uh it's light it only weighs 32 grams so it kind of bounces around a little bit but it feels pretty good all in all so i gave it a 7.5 on that so it is what it is it's a small light spinner that doesn't spin very long um and uh the biggest problem i have with this is the price i i think i got this off a place called blade hq which is um, a website that has the has the Stedemon Knives products on it. And they're selling it for $59.99. And I really don't think it's worth that much, but it, it has a much higher manufacturer suggested retail price. It's uh, like $142 or something like that. So it's not a cheap one, but I don't think it's worth the price that you can get it for. I'm, I'm sure there's some other places you can get it. In fact, I'm not exactly certain that I got it from that particular site, but I think I did. Um, I'm, I'm not exactly sure to tell you the truth, but it, it's, uh, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a cute little spinner. It's just not worth the, the money. I mean, I, I would pay, I would be glad to pay, you know, 30 bucks for this or 35, um, just for the looks of it mostly because it doesn't, it's not much use otherwise, but, uh, as buy spinners go, well, it is what it is. So. That's the Stedemon Z07, 
and I'll see if I'm going to test any more Stedamons. We'll consider that.